Hello, welcome once again to Dr. Toyin's Health Talk. Congratulations for going through the month of January that lasted 10 years, 3 months, and 2 days. We're now in the month of love, and this month we'll be discussing reproductive health issues. Today we'll be discussing the calendar method. Broadly speaking, there are two main groups of contraception which are the hormonal methods and the natural methods. The calendar method is a form of a natural method of contraception. It's most reliable when the menstrual cycles are 27 days and above. If your menstrual cycle is less than 27 days, it might not be as reliable but can still be used as a guide. It will be a good idea to keep a record of your menstrual cycle for 8 to 10 months but if you don't have that much on record, at least three months, start with that. And it's good to keep a record by getting either a calendar, a diary, or a phone app to help you record this. On the first day of your menstrual cycle, you'll put a circle around that date. And we can now start calculating from there. I'll give an illustration to give better understanding of how to use this method. We'll use the example of October 2017 and November 2017 to illustrate the cycle length. As you can see from above, October 10th was the first day of the period. You will now count the number of days between that and the next period, which is November the 8th. Do not include November the 8th in the calculation because that will be day one of the next cycle. Counting in between October 10th and November 7th, you find out there are 29 days. The process is repeated with November 2017 and December 2017, starting at November 8th and going to December 4th is 27 days. For December, starting with December 5th and going to January 2nd is 29 days. This summary shows the cycle lengths of October, November, and December, and this will be used to calculate the fertile period in January 2018. To calculate the first fertile day of your cycle, you'll need to subtract 18 from the length of your shortest cycle. In this example, it can be seen that November had the shortest cycle with 27 days. So subtracting 18 from 27 is the ninth day of your cycle, which will be your first fertile day. To calculate the final day of your fertile period, subtract 11 from your longest cycle. In this example, the longest cycles are the October and December cycles, which are 29 days. So subtracting 11 from 29 will give 18. So that means the fertile period is between day 9 and day 18. We'll use an example of the January 2018 menstrual cycle to try and calculate this and put it in perspective. Now we see the first day of the period is on the 3rd of January. So counting nine days from that, we'll see the first day of the fertile period is on the 11th of January. Remember from our calculations previously, the last day of the fertile period is on the 18th day. So we'll count 18 days from January 3rd, which will be January 20th. You can put a line through these dates to indicate uh, the fertile period, so it makes it easier for you to understand. For those that want to get pregnant, I would suggest to have intercourse regularly during the time between January 11th and January 20th. For those that will not want to get pregnant, I would suggest either avoiding intercourse during this time or using protective measures during this time to prevent pregnancy. Ovulation, which is when the egg is released, is normally 14 days from the next menstrual cycle. So if you have a 29 day cycle, your ovulation day will likely be day 15. If you have a 28 day cycle, your ovulation day will be the 14th day. 
Remember, the egg survives 12 hours, but sperm can survive up to four days in the body. So it's best if in the run-up to the ovulation, you can actually have intercourse regularly to increase your chances. I hope you enjoyed the talk. Next week, we'll be discussing how to give reproductive health talks to your children, which I feel is timely, especially that Valentine's Day is around the corner. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, share this video, leave your comments, and until next week, smile because it's healthy. Bye.